The devastating earthquakes on 25th April 2015, with magnitude 7.8 rector scale, and 12th May 2015, with magnitude 7.3 rector scale, followed by a series of intense hundreds of aftershocks, have caused 9,000 deaths and destruction of more than 650,000 houses in Nepal. CODAID, an international aid and development agency from the Netherlands, arrived in Nepal on 29th April 2015 to address emergency response program and started helping vulnerable families affected by earthquake. Raswa district is one of the most earthquake affected districts where 95% of houses have been destroyed and damaged. Earthquake had badly affected the agriculture land, loss of human lives and livestock, water sources, irrigation facilities, schools, health posts and hospitals were severely damaged. Northern hills and mountains of Raswa district have been damaged by the big landslides. As a result, about 800 families were displaced and scattered in other districts. 500 internally displaced families moved to lower belt of Raswa. They are living in internally displaced people IDP camps. Kodit supports these 500 families with water, sanitation, hygiene, and livelihood activities, along with psychosocial and social protection. Code had distinguished post disaster response into two phases emergency recovery phase for six months from May to November 2015 and reconstruction for two years from December 2015 to December 2017. CODAID has maintained close working relationship with the local government at the district level, line ministries, other stakeholders, relief agencies, NGOs and CBOs and supported on emergency relief activities based on community need or for the most vulnerable families. CODAID selected two experienced partners, Lumanti and Parivartan Patra, for this operation. CODAID entered into rural villages of Rasua district when the entire community was in trauma after the disaster. As an entry point to disaster areas, CODAID supported solar lamps to local community along with students appearing grade 10 board exam and school tents for temporary learning centers where teachers and students not only conducted classes, but shared information about the disaster. CODAID provided CGI sheets to 1,760 families, along with the technical skills to make temporary shelters to protect them from the monsoon rain. To provide clean drinking water was CODAID's priority and communities' dire need. Many water sources were damaged by the landslides caused by the multiple quakes. CODAID rehabilitated and repaired water sources and provided drinking water after quality tests in the community. Meanwhile, CODAID sensitized the local community on sanitation and hygiene promotion, including distribution of hygiene kits. CODAID provided filtered drinking water to 21 schools where 4,000 students and 200 teachers are drinking pure water today. <laughs> Summer <laughs> Yes, 
Water is collected from different sources by making earthquake resistance tanks in the mountain villages. After the disaster, people lost hope on income generation as they lost livestock, agriculture seeds, tools and equipment, which all went into debris when their houses collapsed. After the assessment, Cordae provided agriculture seeds, tools and equipment to support rain-fed cultivation during monsoon. The seeds distributed were of paddy, potatoes, tomatoes and different kinds of vegetables according to the elevation and agriculture practices in the local community. Indeed, the result was very good. People were very happy to receive good variety of paddy from the post-disaster harvest, potatoes and different vegetable crops of which encouraged them to grow more vegetables for commercial purpose. Cordade is constantly working on market value chain to promote local agriculture products in the region. In the month of August 2015, Cordade established the training center and demo agriculture farm where different kinds of trainings such as masonry, carpentry, electric wiring, bamboo handicrafts were provided. Accordingly, agro-related trainings such as tomatoes, mushroom, beekeeping, drying vegetables, including livestock and poultry management trainings were provided. People from IDP camps and host community attended the training and shared their traditional knowledge and skills. As of April 2016, about 700 people were trained in different training skills, of whom many are engaged in the work. CODEAID promotes disaster risk reduction and brings awareness on disaster preparedness and safe mitigation. At this moment, CODEAID and partners are fully engaged to build resilient community. The local disaster management committee is formed in all 18 villages, where local community is closely associated with the disaster management team and enhancing on local community capacity to mitigate hazard. Cordate project activities and program planning are based on DRR features. Meanwhile, information on Build Back Safer highlighting to construct earthquake resistance houses were provided in the rural community. Local community completed the risk mapping of their own villages with hazards and they know exactly where are the challenges and which level of mitigation process is required. CODEAID mobilizes and sensitizes local community by creating new opportunities and innovations. At this moment, CODEAID is expecting approval from the government on reconstruction of permanent shelters. I mean, Pass Garishake Kotsa, Mountain of the Garishake Kotsa, Garka model or the Garishake Kotsa, or Tesla, Amrago, Gurma, Kasiri, Agari, Lejani, Rotela, Tairu, Pasiri, Vasasan, Banone, Kurmani, Kroma, Yakaraniti Dol, Lagat, Savi, Sarkara, Satyuru, Lagiro, Novakus. We aim to construct 550 shelters, although community need is large. Accordingly, our future plan is to continue support on irrigation facilities so that the local community will have sustainable agriculture and livelihood products. CODEAID is doing water assessment on community demand at present. CODEAID is working on resilient community by promoting sustainable livelihood, finding potential market of local agriculture products, water to community and enhance the capacity to mitigate hazard against future disasters.